Phil Rose from representing Staten Island, New York. My boy Danny Ref right here. You already know Staten Island, New York. Staten Island, Staten Island. Um, South Shore, South Shore, Bloomingdale. I'm from Adderdale, Staten Island. My name is Chanel from Staten Island. Lottie from Staten Island, New York, aka Shaolin. I live here in Staten Island. Nick from Staten Island. I'm from Brooklyn, actually, but I do live on Staten Island. Uh, my name is Corey McIntyre, and I live in Staten Island. Staten Island, there you go. Staten Island. Staten Island. Oh, what part? I'm from the South Shore, Arden Heights. The Forgotten Borough is what they call it. The unknown destination in NYC. The borough that is most mocked and most hated on. Yup, that's Staten Island. You might have heard about it due to the famous Wu-Tang Clan or old mob stories. You might have even heard about the famous ferry that connects SI to the mainland of NYC. You might have even heard about it due to an ongoing racial tension and police brutality. Eric Garner was a prime example of a more recent situation that highlighted this location. But what isn't talked about as much is the teen opioid crisis or the sudden youthful vices. However, the real estate is essential to how it thrives. Don't get it twisted though. Poverty is in its pockets like everywhere else in the city. Staten Island sort of speaks for itself, so let's dive in. Welcome to Staten Island. Tell me some things you like about Staten Island. Oh, the parks are cool. You got the, the boardwalk down by South Beach. You got the piers on Off Island Boulevard. Uh, Wolf Pond Park is pretty cool. That's pretty much just the park life, uh, the habitat. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of deer on Staten Island now, a lot of animal life going on. Uh, it's kind of like a small town, big town type of thing. It's a great block, and I'm a true Staten Islander. It's very small. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. We the Forgotten Borough, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're secluded from like the rest, kind of. It's so close to the city, but it's not as crowded as the city. Okay. Like, you get there easily. One of the only islands from the New Yorks that, you know, not a lot of people know about, you know. Only on TV, movies. You know what I'm saying? We don't really got nothing but like Wu-Tang or whatever. You know what I mean? Ain't really no trains connecting to to other boroughs. We're a forgotten borough in a sense, you know. So we're, we're sort of like out of it sometimes, somewhat. I mean, I like Staten Island just because for the simple fact is we're, under, we're, we're underrated. You know what I'm saying? We're known as the forgotten borough. I'm already crazy. Like, you know what like, I'm saying? It is one of the more safer boroughs. Like, when I come out here, I don't necessarily feel, like, unsafe. Don't get it twisted, though. It has its hoods. Like, you don't want to be in certain neighborhoods, like, real late at night, like, West Brighton and New Brighton and the Harbor and stuff like that. But my parents, they moved us from Far Rockaway to Staten Island. When Staten Island, at times, I feel like I'm in outside of Philadelphia or other parts uh, of the country that I've been in. So, yeah. Probably like a deer get disintegrated. <laughs> get hit by a car and just explode. That's the craziest thing that I've probably seen. <laughs> They're calling the forgotten border. My experience with Stapleton has been like, you know, real good. You know, it's been real good. It 
has that city feel. Things are many 24-hour places that you can go to. Much more accepted in Staten Island than it does in the area where I live. So I'm glad to be able to play here and have regular gigs here. Thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a short break. You're listening to the BC3. And little state parks like this. It's on an island, so there's beaches all around you. Some of that sense of community that I said I had from Brooklyn was here in Stapleton as well. In particular, I like that uh, Staten Island is suburban. On this side of the island, it's just mostly Italian. Everybody's Italian. Like. If they're not Italian, they it's say like, they're Italian anyway. Yeah. They have a lot of Italian restaurants, I noticed. It's like authentic Italian restaurants, delis, uh, bakeries. Thank you. My wife is originally from here, uh, so we live here now, and uh, it's a great area, great family area. The kids, it's, it's away from like the hustle and of the city, but it's still kind of smack in the city as well. And it's got lots of greenery, parks, love it. It's just so nice to take a walk on the beach, and uh, and like I said, it's easy to get around. You go to different parks, go sightseeing. And some things are really nice here, like the conference house. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's far. You know, it's kind of suburban, you know, it's quiet, you know, it's like, it's kind of like, like I, get, I get away here, you know? Like always more like the drama and all the trouble get back home in Brooklyn. Staten Island, it's all about the underground scene, man. We don't have a subway, we don't have public transportation like Bronx does, Queens does. You know, you need a car to pretty much get around here. They mainly have buses and they have one train line, but you definitely need a car if you're living out here. So yeah, it's definitely not as convenient. Today I'm in the park walking my dog, so proximity to parks and you know things like that are important to us. Staten Island actually has a lot of space. However, the community here is much smaller. Which I don't like, like everybody knows everybody and everybody's in everybody's business. Even though I didn't have this experience necessarily, but like my brothers, they say that there's a lot of hate on the island. Like almost every event I ever went to, they shot at every borough except, except, except for Staten Island. Island. And, we, and we the only we the, we the only motherfuckers when we go to events that even rep the Staten Island. Like, Stat you know? It is racist as hell out here. Like right now we're in the north side or whatever, so it's definitely much more diverse. But the further south you go, definitely the whiter it gets. You know, I've lived on the South Shore my whole life, so not really much goes on in the South Shore. And if you ever go on, like, you know, the Staten Island Live is the Advances website, and that's our newspaper. And if you read the comments, it's always exactly that, a right. war between the North Shore and the South Shore. And they think that, like, this side is, like, the rich side. Yeah, they think that we're all so wealthy and, and we all we're, like, middle class. Like, right, we're like all just regular. Everybody else. North Shore versus South Shore, you know, but we're gonna shout out the North Shore though, okay? Well, you know, everyone thinks that their side of the island is the best. Uh, South Shore thinks their side is the best. Yeah. North Shore thinks their side is the best. Two totally different parts of Staten Island. I'm saying that's what Derek Garner should have. You know, South Shore people think that they're privileged, and North Shore people think that we're privileged, and it, 
you know, causes problems. They think that who we are when we go into the neighborhood. But I don't see a problem with it at all. <laughs> Scorpion. Johnny Cage. Round one. Fight. Living on Staten Island has been fair for the most part. You know what I mean? But um, there's a lot of things that need to get worked with. You know? And uh, hopefully it happens soon. A lot of drama. A lot of drugs. A lot of drugs. Uh, but now there's a lot of recovery also. People got to realize the drug epidemic that's going on right now. Me, I lost my fucking brother, yo, that my cousin I grew up with since I was a little kid. Like, Eric Garner actually was a personal friend of mine, you know what I mean? And I knew that he had severe asthma. So to see him have to die the way he died, you know, asking them to, you know, that he couldn't breathe, you know what I mean? And them using a, an illegal chokehold. That day, he wasn't even selling cigarettes. Eric came from across the street, there was an argument over here yeah, with a young girl, and he was trying to break up the argument. And yeah, he tried to break up the argument, and they came over here fucking with her. That kind of hurt me, man, that they took him out like that, and the police um, didn't receive any justice. They didn't receive any penalty. All is free. All is free. Today, the chant on the streets of Chicago was like thousands heard last night in New York. At a protest in Minneapolis, and at a die-in on the campus of Clemson University. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The last words of 43-year-old Eric Garner have become a rallying cry for thousands across the country. There's a hood right here, and then you can drive, you know, a mile or two, and it's like suburban areas. There's a lot of segregation and. Uh, you know, racial tensions out here between the police and, you know, the communities out here, the, the hoods, so-called. But justice is a, is a reward or penalty. Where's his reward, man? You know, this man is actually screaming out for help, you know, for his life. And for him to lose his life, man, it kind of hurt me a lot. So, you know, that part of Staten Island and the police uh, situation kind of you know, kind of hurt a lot, you know what I mean, because it was personal, you know what I mean, but uh, he was a good guy. Fight. about the fact of how close things reach home when you know a situation happens it really doesn't affect you until it's personal yo this fucking shit that's going on with the hell yeah, it's bro, like, yo it needs to come to an end dude. and yo nothing nobody has to pay for anything it's free to every addict that comes in asking for help or the family of the addict can come in and ask for help also because heroin is killing all of our friends <laughs> like the shirt <church. laughs> his brother this is, this is not, this is not yo, my boy, hell, this is my, my family, hell, yo. Yeah, and his, his brother is fucked up, and I'm happy that he's he's getting help right now. And my cousin, we didn't know about my cousin, and my cousin fucking passed away because of that shit. But people need to realize about Staten Island. Like, the heroin shit is, is like, out of control right now. Oh, it's called right heroin You can look that shit about Drugs Inc. Like us that don't know how to get, you know, 
sober, how to help their lives. And there's a lot of shit that goes on in Staten Island that people don't even know about. Yeah. Most of all, mm. like they talk shit like, you know, like they don't even understand like the drug epidemic. They don't understand the the per kids, 13 year old dudes going going sniffing person and yo, doing heroin. Fuck you niggas that selling heroin, yo, I'll kill you. Yo. Losing my friends, my best friends that you guys know about too, like you know Frankie all of them. I lost I, lo I lost a lot of my friends to heroin and drugs. Staten Island, I don't know nothing about. I've been to Israel more times than Staten Island. <laughs> and then Staten Island is just out of the category. I've only been to Staten Island once. Never been to Staten Island, that just seems far. Been to Long Island. Staten Island, I've never been, nor do I care to go. <laughs> Staten Island is definitely Italian. You know, I've lived here since 1979. Uh, I don't know shit about Staten Island. I'm not really over there at Staten Island. Sure, I've been to, I've been to the other boroughs. Sure. Uh, don't think I've ever been to Staten Island. Is Staten Island part of New York still? Um, I, I was there once. Uh. In Staten Island, yes. But only for the Statue of Liberty, if that counts, I don't know. The brother that live in like Georgia or some shit, you know what I'm saying? That's just family, that's family though. <laughs> <laughs> that's family though, you feel me? Like, shout out, like, I have family out there, you know what I'm saying? So. Staten Island, I have not been to Staten Island, so I haven't been to all the world. Yes, I've been on the Staten Island ferry, and I got off and got right back on the ferry, which doesn't really count. Right next to the ferry is approaching the terminal, correcting your actions. At no time are you allowed to leave any personal belongings behind. Please remain unattended on the ferry. Stretch out there, it's away from the borough, you know what I mean? They got their own thing going on out there. Who, who, who gonna take a ferry to work? <laughs> Staten's, uh, Staten I don't know too well though, you know? Like, it's a, it's a ferry and stuff, so I don't really like ferries, you know? <laughs> and that shit is mad small from what I've seen. Everybody know each other, like the black community. That's the corniest borough. It's nothing like where we're at right now. It's like, I mean, they, you, you got your bad parts, I guess. And so it's probably the coolest place ever. Like, I'm planning on going this summer to Staten Island just to walk around and do bullshit because that's what you can do at Staten Island because there's, there's nothing there. Staten Island. You gotta take a boat there. That's um, not fun. That's not fun at all. I've been there twice in my entire life. Not for anybody that commutes to Staten Island every day, like, you guys are troopers. Yo, take the ferry. You know you pass by the Statue of Liberty while you're going to Staten Island. You say hi. You know, you're chilling. But do we even call Staten Island like one of the New York City? I just remember going over to the Verrazano Bridge. And then we were in Staten Island, and I forgot what we did there. I don't even know. Uh, especially in the dead of winter, December. Girl, no, I'm not going to Staten Island. You will never see me in Staten Island in no winter time. There's nothing like here. It's just, for the most part, Staten Island is just another world to us. And... There's five boroughs of death right there, you know what mm. I'm saying? Like, yo, you can't leave Staten Island out. That's like leaving out someone, that's like you shouting out everybody in a family and leaving somebody out. You look terrible. I want you to eat. I want you to rest well in a month from now. This Hollywood Big Shot's gonna give you what you want. Too late, they start shooting in a week. I'm gonna make them an offer again with you. Bye. 
It's like I feel like motherfuckers forgot the fact of where this shit started from. The fucking stove and let that shit sit there for like a half hour. Take it off and stick it in your ass slow, like. So like Wu Tang Clan is the best rap group that ever come out in hip hop, and that shit started in Staten Island. Cuban links with the Jesus. When I'm chefing methods, they second guessing they thesis. Keep my razor sharp and stay ghost. I be freezing. 10304 and your fool bitch be sneezing. Yo, Dev, you the god. Now you the god. We all kings and I fucking, I fucking sew your asshole clothes and keep feeding you and feeding you. If you gonna leave, you gotta practice what you preaching. Keep a fire on for them niggas that be reaching. And if they trying to take their plate to go, then don't feed them. So right now we're in Park Hill. So this wall they actually changed up. This is used to be preferred back in the day as like the Wu-Tang wall. And these motherfuckers like Act like there's no talent out here, like. I need the mic to lead this place. I feel the fright every time I'm taking off, performing with my favorite songs. Been way too long. Actually, shout out to Wu Tang, cause people always sleeping on like talent out here in Staten Island. Like, Wu-Tang was probably like the biggest thing to come from Staten Island, but there's also other talent as well on the island. I want a ticket to anywhere, maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere, any place is better. It's a food truck festival that a bunch of companies can bring their trucks and they get to sell products. Uh, I'm here with the music, so like I was here early. I set all the music stuff up. Oh, it's a good event. Like I said, my first time to the one here. I love food trucks. I love food. So, yeah, food truck festivals are good. Yeah. Truck festival, there's going to be music going on, and, and it's basically a bunch of restaurants from Staten Island or food trucks from the five boroughs, even, that want to sample their food. So they come, and it's just a nice place to gather. It's a good family day. It's kind of a hot spot. Like, there's a lot of people over there. Some people are fishing. Other people are just chilling out. All these DJs and shit. Like, we go to, like, events and shit outside Staten Island. Like, we go to Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens. Like, no offense to any of the DJs and shit, but, like, they never shout out Staten Island. They shout out every borough but Staten Island. Well, Staten Island. You know what I mean? Yo, we don't even exist. I was going through so much in my life at that, at, at that time where I had nothing else to turn to but to music because I don't want to be a drug addict. I don't want to fall into that same pit and be like everybody else. Everyone watching, I'm gonna ask you, how many boroughs are there in New York City? You know what I'm saying? There's not four, there's five. Five Yo, boroughs well, equals Staten Island, you know what I'm saying? Connecticut and Jersey before they shut out Staten Island. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's whatever, I'm not, I'm not hating on the DJs. Don't be fooled, it is not for the white. <laughs> From what I've been, the only places I've ever been in Staten Island were something similar to the Bronx. It's like being in the Bronx, but for a whole bunch of houses. You know, I'm, from, I'm from Oakwood, you know what I mean? But I represent Staten Island, I represent my whole city, and I represent the whole, the whole planet, man. I represent for the people. This place called Historic Richmond Town, they have uh, certain events going on over there. They have On Cork, which is a wine tasting festival. I say I'm from Staten Island because that's where I slept. That's where I that's where I learned my lessons. You know what I'm saying? County fairs, which is pretty cool. They have pig racing. Where are you guys I'm from? from the harbor right here. Yo, I'm from I, I'm from Bullshed, Springville. Mount Loretto is a, a great spot on Staten Island, and in the winter time, there's a big hill where you can go. North Shore, you have all the houses, uh, big colonials, big Victorians, which are really cool. Uh, lots of property in the North Shore. If it would be less crowded, it would have been better. Too crowded. <laughs> too many cars all over the place. Yeah, too many people. South Shore, you have house on top of house, you know? Uh, you have 
you know, houses that are attached, you know, townhomes, you know, on the south shore there's a lot more detached homes where you have a backyard, you have no property. The only border that's a never connection with the train, just with the ferry. And we've been telling them to do the ferry over here in the south shore. And they agree, they don't agree. So much more people, too many cars on the road. Uh, you're able to walk and be safe, ride your bike on the street. Can't do that anymore. I was more alive. Mm -hmm. you know, more things to do, more accessible. Southern Under been affected very bad with that. Especially over here in Tottenville. Mm -hmm. A lot of people die in the house, they, 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 they knock down the houses. The reason why the mob is weak because they have no respect for the black. Who helped them make, who, who, who helped them move all that coke dope and numbers that they've been moving. Also becoming a lot more diverse, which is pretty cool, though. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people moving in, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of immigrants coming in, which is cool. Like down by South Beach, it's pretty much all Russian, which is pretty cool. Like every, everywhere has like little patches, which is cool. And then now it's starting to get more diverse. Everyone's trying to like live to live in the same area, which is pretty cool. It's like over here you have probably like 50 different nationalities, which is crazy. Out of the story and all that, it's kind of heavy over there now. It's let down. Shout out to Elida. Mm -hmm. uh, Brooklyn teach you a lot of street smarts, and then I, from like uh, junior high, I moved uptown, and uh, that's when you see the mommies and the shorties, mm -hmm. the Dominican shorties, and uh, you see you get a new style and you talk different, you know. Well, like like Manhattan's a lot more crowded. You have tourists there. Uh, Brooklyn's more like. Like family oriented, I feel like everyone's so close in Brooklyn. Well, I mean, Brooklyn is way too overcrowded, in my opinion. There's never any parking. Yeah, everything's on um, top of each other. Queens and the Bronx, I, I don't really go to much, but uh, yeah, I don't really know much about those two. I've been to all five boroughs, and I've never felt discriminated against or not accepted. Queens. Queens, then. Brooklyn. Nah, nah, fuck that shit. Represent Elmer's right here. Yeah. Oh,